Is there any instance of a woman giving birth to something that is not a human being, a baby, like, I don't know, a turtle, or as our first lady suggested, a breakfast taco? I mean, is there any instance where other than a human being has been born? Well, so, you know, this is a great question that I think that any adult is right to ask. I'm not going to make fun of him and claim that this is really stupid. Uh, I'm not going to point out how Republicans like this are clowns and they ask the dumbest questions imaginable. Let's seriously entertain what he's saying here. Can a human being give birth to a turtle or a taco? Now, the answer, Mr. Heiss, uh, Jody Heiss, is um, no, no, they can't. Um, you could like if you wanted to, if you wanted to be really weird, you could put a taco inside of you and then push it out to kind of emulate birth. But no, you're not able to actually give birth to a taco or a turtle. So great question. There are no stupid questions. I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to go off. Um, but I I'm just curious. Does anyone know what the context is without knowing what he's talking about? It for some reason and, and I haven't I haven't seen what the actual context is. I just saw this 22 second clip, but my guess is that it's something adjacent to talk of birthing people and hysteria over that. Oh, are you saying that men can get pregnant birthing people? So I, I think it's probably within that realm, right? Is a fetus a human? I'm guessing that's actually a good guess. Okay, so I believe that uh, mediaite has the scoop for us. Things got weird during a House hearing on abortion rights when Representative Jody Heiss asked the president and CEO of the National Women's Law Center, Fatima Ghost Graves, if women could give birth to a turtle or a taco. <laughs> yes, that appears to be the current state of Socratic discourse in our nation's capital. Heiss is a committed pro-life advocate who is trying to make the case that life starts at conception. That's honestly, I'm. That's a compelling case. If you're, if you're a quote pro-lifer, um, you know, and you want to prove that life begins at conception, definitely ask if women can, uh, can give birth to turtles or tacos. That'll definitely demonstrate your um, intelligence with regard to um, birthing issues and and maternity. He was also trying to score some cheap points uh, and perhaps go viral by ridiculing First Lady Jill Biden. I mean, you're gonna go viral but not necessarily for the right reasons, right? Um, the First Lady apologized for a ham-fisted metaphor in which she celebrated the diversity of Hispanic Americans by citing the unique nature of breakfast tacos. Okay, I heard about this, but I didn't read what this story was about. Many blamed her for calling Hispanics tacos. She did not, but it was a weird comment anyway, but I digress. Sounds like a weird comment, okay. Still, I, I'm still not really putting two and two together as to why you'd say, hey, she called Hispanic people tacos. Therefore, can you push a taco out of your pussy? Can you give birth to a turtle? Like, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to connect the dots here, and I, I'm not sure how he made that logical leap. How, you, how do you get from point A to point B? I genuinely don't know. So Heist thought it would be uh, maybe cute to include that in an obvious effort to make his guest look foolish. Oh, it's, he's like, it's going to make them look foolish if I, an adult, ask if a woman can give birth to a taco. <laughs> I give up on humanity. Are there any instances? Okay, so we saw that, we saw the video. Uh, well, there are definitely instances where people, ha uh, where people have stillborn, Ghost Graves replied. Then impossibly, the exchange went downhill from there. The transcript of their back and forth is below. I is there a video? Oh, this is going to be painful to read this. So we go from turtle to taco to stillborn. Heiss, I was still a baby. I guess the point is, still a person, is it not? Ghost Graves, if I can finish, I actually think that Representative Shannon's point about uh, viability is goes to exactly what you were naming when I'm... Okay, I need the video because this is very difficult to read. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not helping me like grasp what the context is here. Even like knowing that he was referencing the first lady's dumb comment, I don't know what the fuck they're both talking about. 
uh, talking about personal viability. It did so because the consideration was whether or not the fetus can live outside the body. Heist, there are many people who cannot live without insulin. Does that mean we should kill these people? Wow, what a valid argument. Holy shit. Does it mean we should kill these people who cannot survive without insulin? Well, there's no other intelligence. This is uh, my time. Okay, first of all, if you are a Republican and you have big pharmaceutical donors and you vote against reducing the cost of prescription drugs, if you don't support universal access to healthcare that's free at the point of service like Medicare for All, I feel like you're not the right messenger for this because you actually would unironically say, yes, if people can't have insulin, they should just die. If you can't afford insulin, you should just die. So you can't make this argument. Right. If, if you support Medicare for all, you can make this argument, I guess. Right. But um, Republican Jody Heiss here, you don't get to make this argument unless you are unequivocally in support of Medicare for all. But I, I doubt that he is because there's not a single Republican who has co-sponsored Medicare for all. Uh, gross graves or ghost graves. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, I thought you were asking us. So I was wanting to have an opportunity to explain. So it's not a question of turtles or I'm not really sure what it is a question of heist it's a question of personhood okay i'm still really struggling to find out how we get to personhood from turtles and tacos i i just i'm really struggling here that's what i'm getting to and there is not an instance that i'm aware of of anyone giving birth to something other than a person so if it is a person after birth it is by extension it is by extension, is that person before birth? Okay. I'm still not seeing the connection. What point is he even trying to make? Like, it could be a dumb point. But if I could grasp the point, however dumb it may be, that would be helpful. Ghost Graves. I really hope people are watching today because the question on the table is about abortion for sure, but actually the conversation you're having is about contraception. It's about in vitro fertilization. It's about a whole large is about a whole large i'm okay now she's confusing me my head is about to pop off of my shoulders because i'm 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 growing more confused by the second yeah i love politics viviana says right this is american politics folks completely incomprehensible no no you mischaracterize oh, okay the guy who says can a woman push a taco out of her pussy is accusing you of mischaracterizing i'm so sorry turtle taco guy I'm having a clear discussion about abortion and the fact that is uh, that it is a person. It is a person that we're dealing with and that person after birth clearly is a person. Okay. And therefore, by extension, before birth is also a person. Okay. Okay. This actually is making it a little bit clear about what the fuck he's trying to talk about. Okay. So if it's a person after it's born... Then five minutes before it's born, why isn't it also a person? So this is a nod to quote unquote late stage abortions. So what he doesn't realize is that if you look at data with regard to uh, the gestational periods when abortions take place, it's within the first 10 to 12 weeks. So we're not talking about anything other than clumps of cells, zygotes. So in that instance, like, is it a potential to become life? Sure. Just as sperm is the potential to become life. But we don't penalize men when they splooge into a sock or splooge into a, a Kleenex, right? We only make sure that women's bodies are controlled. And if we're really pro-life, if we want to be consistent, shouldn't we mandate blood donations? Shouldn't we mandate organ donations? I mean, we only need one kidney technically, right? So shouldn't we all be forced to give up our kidneys to someone who could benefit from it? Also, you know, in the United States of America, when we're not even using our bodies after we're deceased, they can't just take our organs and give it to living people. That's illegal. You have to go to the DMV when you get a new driver's license or ID card and explicitly tell them, yes, I want to be an organ donor. So in the event I die, you can use my organs to save someone else's life. Like, shouldn't it just be like compulsory organ donor status for everyone if you're pro-life see we know that bodily autonomy is very important but when it comes to women republican men view them as inferior 
they view them as incapable of making their own choices when it comes to their own reproductive health. So you have to control them, right? You have to make it seem as if what they're doing is tantamount to murder when that's fucking insane. When, you know, people like Tim Pool make this argument about like, oh, well, what if like a woman is eight months pregnant and then she changes her mind and gets an abortion? Like, I'm, I'm kind of like paraphrasing what he's saying, but they, they are under this delusion that people who are eight months pregnant might just flippantly change their mind on a dime and have an abortion. But if you're eight months pregnant, if you're seven months pregnant, you want to have that baby. The only reason why you'd get an abortion at that point in the pregnancy would be if your health is uh, threatened. If the fetus had died and you have to have an abortion to get rid of the dead fetus before it makes you sick, really, you can turn this around and say, okay, well, if it's a person in the womb and it's a person outside of the womb, then shouldn't we afford that same person what they had in the womb? So let me let me explain. So when you are a fetus, when you're inside of a womb, you have guaranteed access to food. You have housing. So why is it that when you're born, after you leave the womb, those guarantees go away? Shouldn't we guarantee housing to people? Shouldn't we guarantee food to people? Nourishment? Warmth? You could flip this around on them. And the question comes down to when does a person have the right to life and when does a person have the right to health care? Oh, when a Republican talks about health care, you know they're fucking serious. And we can argue all day that it's the abortion, that abortion is health care. It, it literally is health care. It certainly is not health care to the baby. Um, okay, it's literally health care, though. Um, so you can you can make that argument, but it's it's factually inaccurate. It quite literally is a form of health care. Doctors are the ones who perform abortions. You can't just like do it. I mean, well, I mean, you can. Right. That's what back alley, you know, coat hanger abortions were. But it's dangerous. It threatens the health of mothers. It could be life threatening. So this is why it's a medical procedure. Leave it up to doctors. Like I could, in theory, if I wanted to perform a surgery and cut out like a kidney from someone, do a heart transplant. But do I know what the fuck I'm doing? Of course I don't. So we leave that to doctors. Um, healthcare protects life and abortion. By definition, uh, boy's life. It is not healthcare. But if we're talking about a person, which we are, we're not talking a taco. We're talking a person in the womb. We're talking where it is. Okay. So he's trying really hard to innovate a little bit, right? But it's not working because what he's saying is completely ludicrous. Completely ludicrous. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralism. Woke moralism. Woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.